<laughs> How do you know you have a stalker? You tell me you've been one. Okay, could you please just go? Just go. You have a probation hearing later. I'm gonna make sure you keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, goodbye. Now get another hobby. Sorry, my little feline wonder. I put my neck on the line for you. I'm not taking any chances. You got me a court date. Yeah, instead of a jail cell. What do you want? Do you want thanks? Do you want a handshake? What? What? Something else? <sighs> no. No, thank you. Well, good. I'm gonna go find myself a saucer of milk and get some vodka in it. Not so fast, kitty cat. Get off my tail? Don't leave your tail exposed. I want a drink. To relax. That's a good idea. Go into court smelling like booze. That'll put the judge in a really good mood. Ever heard of a breath mint? Wait a minute, I already know the answer to that. Have you ever heard of self-control? Now, you must be related to my parents because you're sounding an awful lot like them. Oh, uh, because I'm reasonable, rational, pragmatic. Uh... Mallet, it's Halloween. Have you ever had any fun? What is your deal? Okay, you know what? I know the answer to that one, too. You don't know anything about me. No, and you know what? Let's keep it that way. You know what? Remind me the next time that I'm nice to somebody... To make sure they're not as crazy as some outhouse rat first. Why are you doing this? Because I guess in some moment of temporary insanity, I vouched for you. And I like to back up my word and keep it. So we're going to go to my car, and you're going to go to your place, and you're going to change clothes. Okay, now I get it. You just want to see me get changed. Yeah, if that works for you, baby cakes. Hey, baby cakes, I got my clothes in the car. So that's not a problem. I'm two steps ahead of you already. Man, you are scared. Oh! Excuse me. See, I don't scare easy. Well, okay? Scared. I'm not scared yes. of anything. Yeah, you're scared. Your long ride on the Cassie Express is finally over, and you don't know what to do with yourself. Well, I can help you with that one. You cannot do this to me. Newsflash, Marla. I think I just did. After you, pussy cat. Right to do this. This is a false arrest. You're an idiot. Have you forgotten who my father is? When he finds out about this, he's going to be putting handcuffs on you. I'm thinking he'll recommend a promotion. Well, you know, you think you are so funny. I have had enough. Somebody is going to pay for this. This is ridiculous. You have no right to keep me here. No right. I suspected you might try to run. You are so foolish. Shh. Easy. There are little trick-or-treaters around here. You are getting off on this. No, I'm not. I actually prefer my women rabies-free. Ah, well, look who's still here. Come on, let's go. Mallet. Oh, great. Great. Mm -hmm. I think you two know each other, right? Yeah. Relax. I won't be long. Mallet, I don't want to be in here. Come on! Mallet! Nice Frankenstein costume. I like yours, too. Yeah. Comes with claws. Mm. You know, Edmund told me that you'd grown up to be quite a handful. Really? What else did Edmund tell you? Oh, he didn't tell me much. We were only cellmates for a short time. Well, good. You know what? Lucky you, because I'd be happy if I never see that man's face again. Well, I don't think you have anything to fear, because I think he's headed out of town for good. Well, good. I'm not afraid of him. He's the one that needs to be afraid of me. Remind me never to get on your bad side. Let's go, Marla. Come on. The judge will see you now. I can't go like this. Relax, I got your clothes in the hallway and change in the bathroom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So much. Okay. Here. Here, here, and here. And that's okay. No need to thank me for this time either. Thank you. I want to strangle you. Is that any way to talk to your new best friend? Is that what you're calling yourself these days? Yeah, I'm responsible for you now. Didn't you just hear the judge? Why couldn't you have just kept your mouth shut? Because if I had, he would have thrown the book at you. One more. Well, I guess Thank we'll you. never know, will we? Just do what you're supposed to do, and we won't have a problem. What I'm supposed to do? Keep your probation appointments, okay? Mm -hmm. Show up on time for community service. What did you think I just meant? I don't know. I think it sounded like you expected something else. 
Oh, something else. Yeah. Don't flatter yourself, baby. Why else would you want to become my personal watchdog, huh? Novel concept. Uh, hang with me on this one. It's the right thing to do. You ever heard of that one? Impossible. You see, all men are the same. They're all about agendas and ulterior motives. Diana, a lot of people would say that you got a lot going for you. You know, you got the looks, the smarts, a moderate amount of personality. Oh, thank you. But you have got to start meeting new men. Stop throwing yourself at men that don't deserve you. You know what? You're 100% right. Really? Yeah. No more Edmonds. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. In fact, no more men at all. Done. <laughs>